In today's video, we're going to see if we can find a cheaper dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Let's see how this Wet n Wild concealer compares. Hey guys, it's Jensine. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you love beauty product comparisons, then don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So, if you are tired of paying top dollar for really good concealers, then you might be really, really, really happy by today's video because we're gonna be comparing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and seeing how it stacks up against the Tarte Shape Tape. Now, unless you've been hiding under a rock, the Tarte Shape Tape is everybody's favorite, almost everybody's favorite. At least it's been talked about a lot on YouTube. So, I mean, is it even really possible that a drugstore brand can um, top this one? Let's see. Now, the Tarte Shape Tape retails for about $25 on the Tarte website. You can also find it in Ulta and Sephora when it's not sold out. However, that's a pretty pricey tag, right? I mean, you kind of go through concealer a lot faster. So, I mean, to me, Hey, I'll give it, it's a really great concealer, but that's really, really expensive. Now, in contrast, the Wet n Wild concealer is four bucks. Yes, you heard me, four bucks. Now, the only problem with this is it's only available in one dark shade, and you're looking at it right here. This is the color Dark Cacao. That's how it's spelled. <laughs> now, in contrast, the Tarte Shape Tape comes in a lot of shades for us chocolatey gals. So, you know, that's what you're gonna get, right? There's positive and negative to everything, and the shade selection is definitely one of them. So, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get to the comparison. Okay, so I've got both concealers here. Obviously, this is the higher end one, the Shape Tape, and this here is the Wet n Wild, extremely affordable concealer. So we're gonna put them to the test. The Tarte is gonna go under this eye, and the Wet n Wild is gonna go under this eye. So I'm going to be evaluating them based on application, how easy they are to blend out, and how it looks at the end of the day. So I'm gonna do a six hour check-in and we're gonna see how both of these measure up. This here is everybody's favorite. It definitely is really good for extreme coverage, like if you have really dark under eye circles, and it also is really great for highlighting. Got my Eco Tools and we're gonna go ahead and blend it out. I'm gonna go ahead and set that with my Laura Mercier Medium Deep Setting Powder. As you can see, I've got a nice finish here, really nice coverage, it looks excellent right after setting it. And uh, you guys know the deal, I mean, most people have tried Shape Tape, it's everybody's favorite. Now, let's move on to the Wet n Wild and see how it performs. Okay, so hopefully this is just as nice to blend out as the Shape Tape. Now let's go ahead and blend it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that with the same powder. As I'm setting this, I notice that it definitely feels a lot lighter than the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, so this is right after the initial application. Um, I mean, I wanna know, let me know, if you guys can tell a difference after the initial application, leave me a comment and let me know what your initial first impression thoughts are. Now, as for mine, I'm gonna say that the Tarte Shape Tape blends out really nice. It is definitely a lot thicker, and you do get, you're guaranteed that like full coverage. Now, if you have dry under eyes, this might be a problem for you because it might look really cakey since it's so thick. The Wet n Wild side goes on a lot smoother. The color match is almost identical, which is amazing and it looks really nice right after the initial setting powder. But we wanna know what this is gonna look like after some wear, right? Because if you're gonna wear this all day, you know, what's the point if it doesn't look good at the end of the day? So I'm gonna go ahead 
finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I'm gonna be back after six hours of wear and we're gonna talk a little bit more about this. What up guys? So this is my six hour check-in. So what do you guys think? Remember this had the Wet n Wild side and this had the Tarte. Honestly, after six hours of wear, like I don't even see much of a difference. Like they look exactly the same to me. Initially, the Tarte side looked a bit smoother, but now, I mean, honestly, they look the same. Go ahead and if they've got your shade in the Wet n Wild concealer, cop you some and stop spending yourself some $25 for the Tarte Shape Tape. I mean, I think that's what I'm gonna do after my Shape Tape is, you know, already used up, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use the Wet n Wild one. I mean, why not? So let me know what you guys think about uh, which side looks better and whether you would use the Wet n Wild concealer over the Tarte Shape Tape. And if you guys like beauty reviews, go ahead and check out my playlist. I've got tons of them on this channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye!